health, of course, is one of the greatest um, wealth. Your health is really your wealth. And how rich you are depends also how healthy you are. And how healthy you are depends on what you eat. Your fuel and everything is what makes you what you are. Of course, in the ancient India, we didn't eat red meat. And red meat is what creates mad cow disease and all of these things. So a lot of our food is what creates our health. So that affects our chakras and so on. And it affects specifically the heart chakra. So today we're going to actually um, concentrate on a little meditation on the heart chakra today. And um, ask that our heart be strengthened. And if you practice this at home, of course, and as I said, the Muldara chakra is the one that touches the floor. Uh, that is the first chakra in the body. And then if you look at the picture, there is the heart chakra. Now today on the video, what did you see? You saw that most of the meat that people were eating, and uh, we had a video earlier, and the meat was showing that it affects the heart the most. And of course, when the heart stops, you stop. So there's a heart chakra, which is right at the tip of your heart, that generates the energy that makes your heart keep going. Uh, there are seven chakras. These seven chakras are the seven generators of your life, generators of everything in your life. If one of these chakras malfunction, just like an engine would malfunction, uh, you would suffer from that quality that the chakra controls. For example, if the first chakra, which is called love, is called the Muldara chakra, that is, we started with love there. If that breaks down, your love life breaks down. Then, the Swadishtan chakra it has to do with the food and what you eat and, and your, um, your children and so on. So if that breaks down, you will fail in that part of your life. Okay? And then we have the, um, the third chakra. And the third chakra tells you about your feelings toward others and so on. And what you digest, what you connect with and so on, um, which is kind of like when the solar plexus is. Okay? Um, the heart chakra is usually the one that controls how you um, have emotions in your life and so on. Now, first let's talk about the first chakra. Now, who, who usually when a, person's, when a person is angry or a person is unhappy, who do you think they think about the most? They think about the enemy, the person who's causing the anger. Right? And, and, and that can last for years. For example, uh, a wife or who was divorced from a husband might be bitter at him for years. But she thinks about him all the time. How am I going to kill him? How am I going to get him? I hope he suffers. You know, and then you say, I hate him. You know? And some of us spend so much time trying to destroy the other person that we fail to spend time with ourselves. Because we're busy, we, that person makes us mad. That person makes us angry. So we're busy trying to fight that person. You know, I know one lady that came to me and she constantly says, for, she says, um, you know, he's, he's gone with this other woman, he married this other woman for three years ago and you know, and I, 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 he's treating me, he's treating me very bad, he's, he's not good to me, and things like that. Three years, she's complaining about this. She's fighting him. She wants him 
uh, to come back or, or, or come apologize to her or whatever it is, but it's vengeance and so on. But the whole idea is that she's worshipping him, isn't she? She's actually worshipping that person. So I asked her, I said, who do you think about the most? Oh, I hate him. Because why? She spent so much time thinking about him that she fails to spend the time with herself or with God. So that's the first chapter. The first chapter is where you have to overcome the difficulties of relationship, the difficulties of life, the difficulties of love. Because in the astrological chakra, that's root, that first chakra is in the private area. That first, which is called the seventh house, or the first chakra. And the top is called, called the head. So, before you proceed in your life, in anything, it's love you have to overcome first. And that's the first chakra. If you can overcome love, you can never, never overcome anything else. I'm talking about love between parents and ch children, love between brothers and sisters, love between lovers, love between people. So when you can overcome love, you're on your way to developing your chapter. And if you cannot overcome love, you're still at number one. If love is still your problem, then that's number one. You have to overcome it. So how can you even get to number two? A man, of course, overcomes love. He has his wife. He has his kids. He has his family. He eats well. Everything, and then, then number two comes into play. Because he's happy. He eats well. Right? Then he feels good. So then the heart chakra starts to become better because he, he cooks good food, he's well, he's happy, he, he loves himself, he has no hate for no one, right? And then it comes to the throat chakra. Of course, the throat chakra is one of the most great obstacles in your life. The greatest obstacle in your life is your throat chakra. Why? Because it's what you say, what you speak. Your words can create health in you. you know? um, the minute someone tells you something, you, lo you lose control of your life. Someone tells you you're ugly. Oh boy, that can ruin your whole month. That can ruin your whole day. One word. You know? Or someone says, I don't love you. I'm going to leave you. Oh boy. That a, has a great impact. A lot of people who develop a spiritual life usually go through all the chakras and stop at the throat ch chakra. Because they simply cannot overcome the effect of words, which we call mantra. So, the the throat chakra is one of the greatest stop, greatest one that stops the obstacle to the complete completion of the chakra, to reach the top chakra. You can sit there. Okay. And the whole idea is that if the chakra, the throat chakra has to do with what you say, what goes into the mouth, what comes out of the mouth, your, your, your words, and all of this can affect your life. So if somebody says, uh, you're no good, and you allow that to affect you, then your you have to overcome the throat chakra. Those words can affect you and, and, and destroy your life. So you must be able to speak whatever you say must be good, and of course, whatever you listen to must be good. 